um, yeah, he's just moved to Australia. He's he doesn't even have like residency here. We've got to like apply for his. <laughs> Yeah, Has he picked up the accent? Not yet. Although apparently, to some of his American friends on the phone think that he's, some of his intonations are already changing. <laughs> you know, like there's like an upward inflection that Aussies will do. Like Americans, my my U.S. dialect coach at drama school used to always tell me, Americans don't ask questions; they they make statements. So it'd be like. Right. Whereas Australians will say, "Yeah, I really want to go there." Like, I'm right. I'm actually making a statement, but it sounds like a question because I'm sort of going up like that. You're <laughs> right. <laughs> Funny. So if I start doing, if I go to Australia and I start putting everything in a question with an up inflection, will will I fit right in? We'll fit right in. Yeah. Fit right in. See, I didn't realize that I knew, but I didn't realize that I had, you know, kind of a, a thick West Virginia accent until I started speaking with everybody out West or outside of the U S and I was like, yeah, I've, I don't sound like any of them. So yeah, I've, I've realized that I've got a, a little bit of an accent. Yeah. It's incredible to me actually how diverse the accents are across the U S yeah, like they really are. Imagine being in the one country. Uh, people could sound so extraordinarily <laughs> different. You know? Like, for instance, my husband's from Boston, and that's a totally different accent. Oh my gosh. Actually. Does he have a typical Boston accent? No, he doesn't. He's been living in um, LA for 12 years. Yeah. And he, you know, there's that towny accent, like they'd say, like, park your car. Yes. <laughs> I'm not doing it very well, but that's a bit Australian because we yeah. don't pronounce the R. Like, we'd say park your car. <laughs> And, and, and like, uh, a Western <laughs> say park your car. Park your car. Yeah. Park your car. Like, the R is right there. But yeah. if, you're, if you're from Boston, it's like park your car. <laughs> you did that pretty well. That was pretty good. That was pretty, so, can he pull it out, though? Can he pull out the Boston accent when he wants yeah, to? Yeah, he's really good at accents, to his credit. He loves the Aussie accent. Oh, my goodness. He's wonderful at mimicking my mother. That's my mother's his muse, his accent muse. Does, yeah. does she appreciate him mimicking her? <laughs> oh, he doesn't understand. She does, she's not fully aware that his Australian accent that he puts on as a joke is based on her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming she'll never listen to this podcast. She's oh, my gosh. Yeah, you, you better hope not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. What do, what do your children call your mother? Oh, my, they, they call her Musha. That's because I'm half Polish on my dad's side, and actually in Polish, mother is mamush, and so from that, my mom, who actually is Australian, not Polish, she just said, when she became a grandmother, I'll be musha. I like and that. M-O-O-S-H-A. Yeah, so that's what she is to my, to my yeah, children. And my- I like that. I'm a, I'm a papa to my grandkids. I'm a papa. Pop- Papal. Papal? Papal. That's cute. <laughs> You're already a grandfather. You look too young. Thank you so much. I, that's the clip I've been waiting for. I'm going to run that everywhere now. That's great. <laughs> you definitely do. Like, I would say you look like maybe you could have kids, you know, in middle school. Oh, my gosh. Really? Not, Thank you so much. Adult, adult children with their own children. Yes, they're, they've, they've all grown up so fast. So.